Hey everyone, welcome back to Anxiety Art Adventures. I finally finished Cat Crazy Chloe by Craftively, and I will have to say this diamond painting was a lot of fun to work on. Um, variety of reasons. Uh, it, one, it was nice to go back to uh, normal size round drills because the last one I finished was um, Treasure Studios Art Time Escapes Us and it had the smaller round drills, which I like the smaller round drills, but I also like the normal size round drills as well. So that was nice. And then of course, just the diamond painting itself um, with the cats. I mean, I have cats, so uh, yeah. So this was a lot of fun to work on. Um, I had very, very little trash in this diamond painting kit. And that was, that was nice. Um, this one is a 40 by 60 centimeter. Um, as I said, round drill cut. Uh, no ABs, but you know, and I had to lay it sideways so you could see the whole image. So I'm going to show you what trash I had. I'm using my, my 3D designs, um, little trash holder. And then this is from, uh, I think it's J, J S and visions lab. I think, I don't know. I don't know, but so that is all, <laughs> that is all of the trash drills that I had. Um, and there were a few that I just, you know, tossed. Um, but for the most part, that was it. So very nice, very nice. And I just, the canvas was super sticky. Um, the symbols were very easy to, to read and decipher. I will say this, this actually had a very nice balance of color blocking and confetti. Of course, the background is all the same color. Um, it was 3865. I had a giant bag of this and I mean, I had so many left over of that. It's just, it's great. Um, but yeah, so the whole background was the 3865 and then you had the confetti, of course, within the actual image of Chloe and the cats and little things down below. I love this little mug here with the cat tail as the handle. I need to find me one of these. <laughs> um, yeah, so uh, very respectable amount of confetti and it was a nice balance to color block as well. This took me a lot longer than I thought. Um, I think I started this at the beginning of October and we're now at the end of November. Um, but with life and everything going on in my world, uh, I don't really have a lot of time to diamond paint. Um, but when I do, I, I try to sit down and, and diamond paint for about an hour, an hour to two hours if I can. Um, so yeah, so I got this done in about a month and a half, maybe a little bit longer than that. So yeah. Okay. So I showed you the trash drills. These are all of my drills that I had left over. I didn't run out of any drills, which is great. So, I mean, I had plenty, plenty of drills left over. I think there was one bag. There's always one bag, isn't there? Where you're like, okay, am I going to run out? Am I going to run out? Um, which one was it? This one started to run a little low. The 961. Um, 524. That one started to run a little low. It was a green. But nothing that would give me pause to think, oh my gosh, I'm going to have to contact, you know, Michael or Amy and say, I need drills. Um, I've never had to contact them for that. Um, never run out of drills. Um, so that's a plus. And as you know, uh, Craftably just came out with all of the new Jasmine Beckett Griffith uh, diamond paintings, which I'm so excited to be doing a collaboration with Stephanie from Patriotic Beauty starting December 1st. Um, I do have a video um, announcement about that collaboration, about how you can enter to win prizes and diamond paint along with us. Um, so yeah, so just check out my videos for that. 
Uh, yeah, but this, this was just a joy to work on. And I just can't speak highly enough about Craftably, the fact that um, all of their diamond paintings are licensed and they, you know, they pay the artists what they need to be paid um, to turn their beautiful artwork into diamond paintings. So um, it's very important to me, and I say this often, that um, you, you try to purchase licensed diamond paintings um, if you can. And if you can't, just try to you know do your research to make sure that um, they're not stolen images. So I never have to worry about that with Craftably. Um, they're always licensed, so that is a plus. So yeah, so this is Cat Crazy Chloe, and here I'm gonna turn it and I'll show you. Look at the sparkle. Look at the sparkle, sorry for the glare. So much sparkle. Drills are super sparkly. Look at those eyes. How many of you have this diamond painting? How many of you have finished this diamond painting? I know a bunch of people have had it. Uh, the red is just so pretty. So pretty, so colorful. Um, and I'm a huge fan of red, so just, di this diamond painting just popped. So I think this was charted beautifully. Um, so yeah, kudos to Craftably for this one. Um, I do have many other Craftably diamond paintings that I need to complete at some point. I'll get there, but um, yeah, one diamond painting at a time. So my next diamond painting is going to be Releasing Fireflies by Jasmine Beckett Griffith. Um, like I said, with my collab with Stephanie, that's going to start December the 1st. Uh, so I'm super excited about that. And that is a very large diamond painting. So, um, and I did speak with Michael and he said that they are planning to have restocks of the Jasmine Beckett Griffith diamond painting. So just be patient. I know, you know, they're out of stock, but they are going to be getting more in. So I just want to let you all know that. Yay. Ooh. So yeah, it's always such a great feeling, isn't it? When you finish a diamond painting and you can just see what you've accomplished. Um, I recently made a diamond painting for my mom as a gift for her birthday. It was a diamond art club, um, wine a little, laugh a lot. And she went and had it framed and I keep telling her to take a picture of it to send it to me so I can show you all. Um, but she did, she went to um, Michael's and had it professionally framed and it is gorgeous. Um, the whole background of that was white and she did a wine colored mat around it and then a white frame. It's just gorgeous. Um, I don't know what the point of me telling you that was. Um, but yeah, so I do want to have this framed. I'm not sure how I'm going to do it. If I'm going to use the um, magnetic frames, which I have uh, primarily for most of my diamond paintings. Uh, once they get bigger, the magnetic frames are a little bit trickier because um, the sides like to warp a little bit um, with the weight. So anyway, so I will get this framed. But yeah, so I'm looking forward to starting Fireflies. Um, I am probably going to be taking um, this upcoming week of Thanksgiving off. Um, lots of things going on next week, and I'm going to release a video on Monday letting you know about a very special announcement with WeWax uh, for uh, Friday, November the 27th. Um, very special announcement for that, so stay tuned for that. But I am probably gonna be taking the week off. I have, um, my husband and I are video gamers and we have um, a release from World of Warcraft that has finally been scheduled to come out for the 23rd of November. Um, this has been, a year in the making and they've postponed it and postponed it because of COVID and now it's actually coming out. My husband has taken off of work. Sorry for my computer needing air. Um, my husband actually took off work next week so we are going to be um, very much uh, consumed with that game next week and it's going to be kind of like our vacation for us because um, we're not doing um, Thanksgiving with our families this year. So. Anyway, um, yeah, but I hope everybody has a safe and happy Thanksgiving, um, you know, with their families, whether it be together or via Zoom calls, which is what we're doing. Um, yeah, but I hope everybody's staying safe. So uh, anyway, 
just wanted to let you all know I'm going to try and have some pre-recorded videos up for next week um, if I can uh, but with everything going on next week with the special wee wax um, may or may not get to that so we'll see but anyway I just wanted to show you cat crazy Chloe that it was finished wonderful diamond painting um, didn't have any any issues at all um, yeah, so if you have any questions or concerns, please let me know in the comments down below. Let me know if you have this diamond painting, if you finished it. I'd love to see, you know, pictures of it on Instagram or what have you. Um, yeah, to all of my Patreons, thank you so much for your generosity, your thoughtfulness, your messages. It means the world to me. Um, and if you're new here, thank you for uh, clicking on this video. I hope you hit that subscribe button and like and ring the bell. And yeah, I think that'll do it for me today. So anyway, hope everybody has a fabulous, fabulous rest of your day. And I will see you again really soon. Bye, guys.